With WebEx Calling, there are a couple different ways to get PSTN access for your calling environment. The first is Local Gateway, where you have a third-party SIP or PRI type of service. You bring it into a Cisco Cube router. Uh, you can actually tie that into your WebEx calling environment that way. The second would be a cloud-connected PSTN provider, and a lot of these providers are big names in the telecom space, either in the US or globally that you've probably heard of before. And then the third is to actually get your PSTN calling access from WebEx directly. This is the simplest, the easiest way to consume it. Uh, it works pretty well in the US and Canada, uh, and of course it's expanding into other countries uh, around the world currently. With that being said though, you have to check the portability of your phone numbers to ensure that you can use this service. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. There's a link in the video description if you wanna click that and follow along. Otherwise, let's check it out online right now. So here you see the portability tool. We can actually come into here and type in a phone number. Now I'm gonna, you know, to prevent people from just dialing this number and causing problems, I'm just gonna put in a bogus phone number, uh, 123 Pretty bogus number, right? No phone number starts with all zeros. And I'm gonna click check availability. You're going to see very quickly that it is a non-portable number because it's a bogus number, uh, but it is a valid number format. Uh, if this was a valid number that could be ported, like your phone number, you would see it green in the portable column. Pretty straightforward. Now, I also wanna show you how to do this in bulk because most, police, most places are not going to be porting a single number or even just a small handful of numbers. It may be a large, batch of numbers. There is a little bit of a caveat with doing this that I found. I'll show you how to address that as well. Here we go. So here I have a CSV file and you can see I have that same number format. Uh, I added a comma at the end, however. Now, if you create a, a CSV in Excel, it doesn't always have uh, the comma on the end. This tool is looking for the comma as the separator between the numbers. Um, so just something to keep in mind depending on where it is that this data is coming from that you're using for the portability checking tool. If you come in here and click upload file, you can do that right here. Simply select the file that you wanna process. In this case, it's called book1.csv. Initially, I created it in Excel. Click check availability. It'll take a second to kind of spin through all those numbers and you can see here the entire list again, is not portable because they're bogus numbers. Now, if you wanted to actually download this portability list, say you had some numbers that were portable and some that weren't, you had to then do some further parsing of that, you can simply click the download file and you're going to get a CSV of those details. In my case, the CSV that was exported is viewable on the screen here. You can see the portable column, the non-portable column, and the invalid column if for some reason you had a number with errors in it. So that's it for the number portability tool. Very simple, very straightforward to use. Of course, if you have questions, comments, tips, tricks, leave them in the video comments section below. Always love to hear from you guys. Check out the details in the video description. With that being said though, I wanna thank you for watching and I hope to see you back sometime soon.